Hi guys, this is Manohar and welcome to Tutorials. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about the topic chasing in the speed, time and distance. Actually, this is the fourth part of speed, time and distance. If you haven't watched the previous parts, I recommend you to please watch previous parts of the speed, time and distance. So that you can come to know what is the concept of speed, time and distance and also how to solve the problem based on the speed, time and distance. Now let's see what is this topic of chasing here. Actually, this chasing is completely based on the concept of relative speed in the speed, time and distance. Okay, now what is the meaning of relative speed? Relative speed is nothing but the relation between the two speeds of the persons. Okay, if the persons are traveling in the same direction or in the opposite direction, we will find out what is the relation between the speeds of the persons. Okay, that is called relative speed here. Now let's see what is the exact concept of chasing here. The chasing name itself says one person is trying to catch the other person traveling in the same direction. Okay, if both persons are traveling in the same direction, one person will try to catch the other person. Okay, this is the exact meaning of chasing. Now I will take one example and explain you what is the concept of chasing and then we can move to some basic level problems. Okay, now let's take one example. Suppose assume that there is one person here, okay, and there is another person here. Both are moving in the same direction, okay. Both are moving in the same direction. Now assume that the first person is traveling with a speed of x kilometer per hour, okay, and the second person is traveling with a speed of y kilometer per hour. Okay, assume that the first person is traveling with a speed of x kilometer per hour and the second person is y kilometer per hour. Okay, now assume that the second person is trying to overtake the first person or trying to catch the first person. Okay, now when can the second person overtake the first person? Only when the second person is traveling with more speed compared to the first person. Right, see here, in order to overtake or catch the first person, the second person needs to travel with more speed compared to the first person. Right. Now the question is with how much more speed the second person is traveling to catch the first person or to overtake the first person. How can we find out that? If I find out the difference between the first and second person speed, I will come to know what is the that is with how much more speed the second person is traveling to catch the first person. Okay. See here, what is the difference between first and second person speed that is x minus y kilometer per hour or y minus x kilometer per hour. You can do it in either ways, but only thing is we need to find out what is the difference between first and second person speed. Okay, now this is the difference between first and second person speed that the second person is traveling with more speed to catch the first person. Okay, now what is this x minus y kilometer per hour? This is called relative speed. Okay, this is called relative speed. I have already told you relative speed is nothing but the relation between two speeds of the persons. Here also relative speed is nothing but x minus y kilometer per hour. Okay, this is the relation between first and second person speed traveling in the same direction. Okay, so whenever in the question they will ask the persons are traveling in the same direction or the second person is trying to catch the first person, we can simply make the relative speed as the difference between the first and second person speed. Okay, so this is the relative speed here in this type of questions. So this is the most important thing you need to remember when it comes to chasing topic in the speed, time and distance. Okay, now there is another most important thing you need to remember that is second point that is whenever one person is trying to catch the first person, okay, the time taken will be same in the both cases. Okay, see here I will take one example and explain you. Suppose assume that here is one person and here is second person. Now the second person is trying to catch the first person. Okay, the second person is trying to catch the first person. Now assume that after a certain point, okay, first person started traveling and second person started traveling. After a certain point here, the second person catches the first person. Okay. Now the time taken for first person to reach this point and the time taken for second person to reach this point will be same. Okay. The only thing is the second person is traveling with more speed compared to the first person. Okay. See here, try to understand this. Suppose assume that there are two persons. Okay. Now both are started running. Okay. Now second person is started uh, trying to catch the first person. Now. Assume that after some time, that is after some time, this is the point where second person catches the first person. Okay. Now the time taken for first person to reach this point and also second person to reach this point will be same. Okay. That is T1 equal to T2. T1 is nothing but the time taken for second person to reach this point. That is nothing but catch the first person. Okay. And also T2 is nothing but the time taken for first person to reach this point. That is catching point or overtaking point. Okay, the catching or overtaking point will be same that is time taken for both second and first person to reach that point will be same in the both cases. Okay, this is the other most important thing you need to remember when it comes to chasing in the speed time and distance. 
okay the one thing is relative speed is nothing but when both persons are traveling in the same direction the relative speed will be difference of the first and second person speeds okay another point is when both persons are traveling in the same direction at the point of catching or overtaking the time taken for the first person to reach that point and second person to reach that point will be same okay that is nothing but t1 equal to t2 t t1 is time taken for the second person and t2 is time taken for the first person okay so these are the two most important things you need to remember when it comes to chasing okay if you understand these two concepts you can simply solve any kind of problems based on the chasing okay now let's solve some basic level problems so that you can come to know how to use these two points in solving the problems okay now in this topic of chasing we will solve the problems by using two methods one is relative speed and another one is equating time or normal method relative speed is nothing but when both persons are traveling in the same direction the relative speed is first person and second person speed difference okay and equating time is nothing but i have already told you when one person is catching another person the time taken will be same in the both cases okay and also remember this in the equating time method we only equate time when it is given in the question one person is catching the another person okay if it is not given in the question that the person is catching another person or person is overtaking another person even though the persons are traveling in the same direction we don't equate the timings here okay remember this we only equate the timings whenever the person is catching another person okay when the persons are both traveling in the same direction we don't equate timings we only equate timings when the person is catching the another person or overtaking the another person okay now let's see the first problem they are saying that two men a and b starting from place x walking at 4 and 1/2 km per hour and 5 3 by 4 km per hour how many km apart they are at the end of 3 and 1/2 hours if they are walking in the same direction so we need to find out what is the distance between the a and b if they are walking in the same direction after 3 and 1/2 hours okay so here they have given they are starting at a place x and moving in the same direction okay now a is moving with a speed of 4 and 1/2 hours that is nothing but 2 4 8 plus 1 9 by 2 km per hour okay and also b is traveling with a speed of 5 3 by 4 km per hour that is nothing but 4 5 20 23 23 kilo by 4 km per hour okay now the time is also they have given that is time equal to 3 and 1/2 hours that is nothing but 2 3 6 plus 1 7 by 2 hours okay now we need to find out what is the distance between a and b after 7 by 2 hours okay now we know what is the basic formula that is speed equal to distance by time now what is the speed here here a and b are traveling in the same direction so relative speed is nothing but the difference between the a speed and b speed okay see here speed equal to difference between the a speed that is 9 by 2 km per hour minus 23 by 4 km per hour now what is the lcm the lcm is 4 here And 9 by 2 into 4, that is 2 to 4, and 9 to 18, minus 23 by 4 into 4, that is 1 and 23. So we will get 5 by 4 kilometer per hour. Now we have find out what is the speed and also what is the time given. Okay. Now we need to find out what is the distance between A and B. That is 5 by 4 equal to. We don't know what is the distance. By time is 5 by. That is 7 by 2 hours. 7 by 2 hours. So we will get. D equal to five by four into seven by two, five by four into seven by two. So we will get five seven thirty five thirty five by four to eight. That is thirty five by four to eight. Okay, so we will get eight four thirty two, and there will be three here. Four three by eight. Four three by eight kilometers. So this is the actual distance between the A and B after seven by two hours. Okay. Now let's see how to solve the same problem using the normal or equating time method. Here in this question, they didn't give the person is catching the other person. Okay. So we will use only normal method to solve the problem. Okay. See here, A is traveling with a speed of four and a half kilometer per hour. That is nothing but two four eight plus one, nine by two kilometer per hour. Okay. And B is also traveling with a speed of five three by four kilometer per hour. That is nothing but four plus twenty, twenty three by four kilometer per hour. Okay, now both are traveling for three and a half hours. Okay, so A will travel after three and a half hours. That is nine by two into three and a half hours. That is nothing but three and a half hours is nothing but two three six plus one seven by two hours. Okay, nine by two into seven by two hours. We will get nine seven sixty three sixty three by four kilometers. Okay, after three and a half hours. A travels sixty four sixty three by four kilometers, and also B travels that is nothing but twenty three by four kilometer per hour into seven by two hours. 
that is equal to 428 and 23 into 7 that is 27 is 140 and 7 3 is 21 161 kilometer okay now after three and a half hours what is the distance between a and b that is a travels 63 by 4 kilometer and b travels 161 by 8 kilometers so what is the distance between them that is 63 by 4 kilometers minus 161 kilometer by 8 so we will get the LCM will be 8 here and we will get 63 into 2 that is 126 126 minus uh, 161 into 8 that is 161 only so we will get 161 minus 26 that is 5 and 35 35 by 8 so we will get 8 ones 8 fours 32 and 4 3 by 8 kilometers okay now in this question they didn't go that the person is catching the other person that's the reason we don't equate time here okay that's the reason we are solving the problem using the normal method that is at first we will find out what is the distance traveled by a and also what is the distance traveled by b and then we will find out what is the distance between them okay now let's see the second problem they are saying that a thief is noticed by a policeman from a distance of 200 meters the thief started running and the policeman chases him the thief and the policeman running at the rate of 10 km and 11 km per hour what is the distance between them after 6 minutes so we need to find out what is the distance between the police and thief after 6 minutes okay see here they have given thief noticed the policeman at a distance of 200 meters okay now what they are saying is after noticing thief started running and thief started running with a speed of 10 km per hour 10 km per hour and the police started running with a speed of 11 km per hour now what they are saying is after 6 minutes so they both are running for 6 minutes so the total time is 6 minutes okay now after running for 6 minutes what is the distance between police and thief okay now we already know what is the basic formula speed equal to distance by time now what is the speed here thief and police are running in the same direction so the relative speed will be the difference between the thief speed and police speed okay so speed equal to 11 minus 10 that is 1 kilometer per hour okay now in the answer they have given in the form of meter per minute so we need to convert this speed into meter per minute so we will get 1 into kilometer has 1000 meters and 1 hour has 60 minutes so we will get 0 0 will be cancelled and 100 by 6 km per hour okay so this is the relative speed of the police and thief now after 6 minutes that is nothing but speed is 100 by 6 and uh, distance we, we need to find out what is the actual distance and time is 6 minutes so we will get 6 and 6 will be cancelled and distance is 100 meters so after 6 minutes both have traveled for 100 meters now initially the distance between police and thief is 200 meters now they have traveled 100 meters now what is the difference between police and thief that is 200 minus 100 that is 100 meters okay initially the distance between police and thief is 200 meters now both have traveled for a distance of 100 meters now what is the distance between police and thief after 6 minutes that is 200 minus 100 that is 100 meters okay now let's see how to solve the same problem using equating time or normal method in this question also they didn't give that the police is catching the thief so we don't equate time here okay so we will solve the problem using normal or basic method okay in normal or basic method we need to find out after six minutes what is the distance traveled by thief and what is the distance traveled by police okay see here thief is okay thief is noticed by police at a distance of 200 meters so initially the distance between thief and police is 200 meters okay now thief started running with a speed of 10 km per hour okay and police started running with a speed of 11 km per hour okay now after 6 minutes so we need to convert this 10 km per hour and 11 km per hour to meter per minute so we will get 10 into 1000 by 60 so we will get 0 and 0 will be cancelled and uh, so we will get 1000 by 6 that is 2 3s and 2 50s so 500 by 3 500 by 3 this is the speed of the thief now what is the speed of police that is 11 into 1000 by 6 60 so we will get 11 into 100 that is 1100 by 6 this is the speed of police in the form of meter per 
minute. Okay. Now what they are saying is after six minute, what is the distance between thief and also police? Now first of all, we need to find out what is the distance traveled by thief and police after six minutes. So this speed is 500 by three. Okay, this is thief. Okay, 500 by three traveling for six minutes. So we will get three ones, three twos. That is thousand meters. Okay, and police travels with a speed of 1100 by six into traveling for six minutes. So into six. We will get 6 and 6 will be cancelled and 1100 meters. Okay. Now after 6 minutes, the distance between police and thief is 1100 meters and also 1000 meters. Okay. Now we need to find out what is the distance between the police and also thief. That is police minus thief. That is 1100 minus 1000. So we will get 100 meters. Now this is the difference between the police and thief after 6 minutes. But initially, the difference between thief and police is 200 meters. So, what is the final distance? That is 200 minus 100. So, we will get 100 meters distance between the thief and police. Okay. This is the actual distance after police and thief after 6 minutes. Okay. But initially, there is a distance between them that is 200 meters. So, 200 minus 100 that is 100 meters. Okay. Now, let's see the third problem. They are saying that a thief is spotted by a policeman from a distance of 200 meters. When the policeman started to chase, the thief also started running. If the speed of thief is 16 km per hour and that of policeman is 20 km per hour, then how far will the thief travel before he is overtaken? So we need to find out what is the distance travelled by thief before he is catched by the police. Okay, see here they have given thief spotted by policeman at a distance of 200 meters. Okay, so initially the distance between the police and thief is 200 meters. Okay, now what they are saying is after certain time police catches the thief. Okay, up to that time what is the distance traveled by the thief? Okay, see here they have given the speed of thief is 16 km per hour. Okay, and the speed of police is 20 km per hour. But in the answers they have given in the form of meters. So we need to convert this 16 and 20 to the meter per second. So how can we convert this by dividing by 5 by 18. Okay, now what is the thief will become? That is 16 into 5 by 18. So we will get 2 9 18 under 2 8 16. So we will get 8 5 40. 40 by 9 km per hour. And police will become 20 into 5 by 18. 2 9s and 2 10s. That is 50 by 9 km per hour. Okay, now what they are saying is after some time police is catching the thief. So we need to find out what is the time that is police catching the thief. Okay, see here, speed equal to distance by time. Now what is the speed here? Both are traveling in the same direction. So the relative speed will be difference of both thief speed and also police speed. So we will get 40 by 9 minus 50 by 9 equal to what is the distance? That is initially the total distance is 200 meters. Okay, now what is the total time? We need to find out what is the total time. So we will get the LCM will be 9 here and 50 minus 40 that is 10 by 9 equal to 200 meters by T. So we will get 10 ones, 10 twos, 20 and uh, sorry 10 twos, 20 and 0. Okay, so we will get T equal to 20 into 9 that is 180 seconds. Okay, after 180 seconds policeman catches the thief. So we need to find out up to 180 seconds what is the distance traveled by thief. Okay, see here up to 180 seconds. So t equal to 180 seconds and the speed of thief is that is 40 by 9 kilometer uh, meter per second. 40 by 9 meter per second. So what is the distance? We need to find out what is the distance traveled by thief up to that time. That is 180 seconds. Okay, see here speed equal to distance by time and the speed is 40 by 9 meter per second equal to distance is we need to find out what is the distance and also time is 180 seconds. So we will get 9 ones, 9 twos, 18, 0. And the distance equal to 40 into 20 that is 800 meters. Okay, see here, policeman catches a thief after some time. So we don't know what is after some time. That is, we don't know what is the actual time that the policeman catches the thief. Okay, so first of all, we need to find out what is the time that the policeman catches thief. Then we can find out up to that time what is the distance traveled by thief that is 800 meters. Okay. Now let's see how to solve the same problem using this equation time or normal method. In the question they have given that policeman is catching the thief.
So whenever the person is catching another person, I have already told you the time taken will be saved in both cases. So here also we can solve the problem by equating the time in both cases. Okay. In the question, they also given that thief is noticed by policeman at a distance of 200 meters. Okay. Initially, the distance between the police and the thief is 200 meters. Now after noticing, thief started running. Okay. Now after some time, policeman catches the thief. Okay. Now up to that time, what is the distance travelled by thief? We need to find out that. Okay, see here, try to understand this. Thief started running, so after some time, policeman catches the thief. Okay, now up to that time, what is the distance travelled by thief? Okay, before catching out by police, the thief might have travelled some distance, right? Now we need to find out what is the distance travelled by thief before catching by police. Okay, see here. Suppose assume that the distance travelled by thief before caught by police is x meters. Okay, now I have already told you, whenever the person is catching another person, the time taken will be saved in both the cases. So we can simply equate the both timings in the first and second case. Okay, now in this police case, what is the time taken? That is distance by speed and in the second case also distance by speed. Now in the police case, what is the total distance to be travelled? First of all, police needs to cover this 200 meters and then needs to cover total x meters to catch the thief. So the total distance will be 200 plus x meters. Okay. Now what is the total speed of police here? That is, police is travelling with a speed of 20 km per hour and thief is travelling with a speed of 16 km per hour. Okay. So the speed of police is 20 km per hour. In the answer, they have given in the form of meters. So we need to convert this 20 km per hour to meter per second. How can we convert this? By multiplying by 5 by 18. In this, uh, in this thief case also, Distance is, the total distance thief needs to travel is x meters. So, by, what is the speed of thief here? 16 km per hour into meter per second is 5 by 18. Okay, so we will get 5 by 18 and 5 by 18 will be cancelled and 2 tens, 2 8, 16 and 4 twos, uh, sorry, 2 fours, 2 fives. And also we will get 200 plus x by 5 equal to x meters by 4. By cross multiplying, I will get 5x equal to 4 into 200, that is 800 plus 4x. So if I send this 4x to the right hand side, I will get 5x minus 4x, that is x equal to 800 meters. Okay, so up to the time caught by police, thief might have travelled a distance of 800 meters. Okay, now see here, try to understand this question very carefully. Initially, the distance between police and thief is 200 meters. Now, thief started running and police started chasing. Okay. Now, after some time, police will catch the thief. Right. Now, up to that time, thief might have travelled a distance. Now, we need to find out what is the distance travelled by thief before caught by police. That is, we don't know what is the exact distance. So, we are assuming the total distance travelled by thief is x meters. Now, in order to catch the thief, police first needs to cover this initial distance that is 200 meters and then police needs to cover the distance travelled by thief that is x meters. So, the total distance in this police case will be 200 plus x. Okay. Now, total distance in this thief case will be x meters. Okay. Now, we need to convert the kilometer per hour to meter per second. That is, by multiplying by 5 by 18. Okay. Now, we will get what is the total distance. That is, x meters. Okay. x meters equal to 800 meters. Okay. Now, let's see the fourth problem. They are saying that a thief goes away with a marthi car at a speed of 40 kilometer per hour. The theft has been discovered after half an hour and the owner sets off in a bike at speed of 50 km per hour. When will the owner overtake the thief? So we need to find out when will the owner catch the thief. Okay, see here they have given that the thief goes away with a marthi car at a speed of 40 km per hour. Now after half an hour, the theft has been discovered. Now up to half an hour, the thief might have travelled a distance, right? Now how much distance thief will travel? That is. Thief is travelling with a speed of 40 km per hour. Per hour, thief is travelling with a speed of 40 km. Now in half an hour, he will travel only 20 km, right? So in half an hour, the distance will be only 20 km travelled by thief. Now what they are saying is, the owner started with a speed of, owner started with a speed of 50 km per hour. Okay. Now, when will owner catch the thief? We need to find out that. Now we already know what is the speed formula distance by time. Now what is the speed here? Both owner and thief are travelling in the same direction. So the total relative speed is difference of thief speed and also owner speed that is 50 minus 10, 50 minus 40 that is 10 km per hour. 
what is the total distance here that is 20 kilometers so 20 kilometer by total time we don't know what is the total time so what is the total time will become t equal to 20 by 10 that is 2 hours okay so after 2 hours owner will catch the thief okay now let's see how to solve the same problem using this equating time method in this question also they are saying that owner is catching the thief so whenever the person is trying to catch the other person the time taken will be same in the both cases here also we can solve the problem by equating the time in the both cases okay and also in this question they are saying that the thief is traveling with a speed of 40 km per hour okay now after half an hour thief is identified now up to half an hour thief might have traveled a distance right now what is the distance traveled by thief in the half an hour that is 20 kilometers because thief is traveling with a speed of 40 km for one hour in half an hour thief will travel only 20 kilometers okay now this is the distance between thief and owner initially now owner started to chase the thief with a speed of 50 km per hour 50 km per hour okay now owner will catch the thief after some time we don't know what is the exact time but owner will catch the thief after some time now up to that time thief might have traveled an extra distance right so i'm assuming the total distance traveled by thief before caught by owner is x kilometers okay suppose assume that owner will catch the thief after some time right we don't know what is the exact time but up to that time thief might have traveled some distance okay so i'm assuming the total distance traveled by thief before caught by owner is x kilometers okay now we need to find out what is the time taken for owner to catch the thief okay i have already told you in the chasing the time taken in the both cases will be equal so t1 equal to t2 okay now t1 in the first case that is d1 by s1 equal to d2 by s2 what is the distance in the first case that is owner needs to travel this 20 kilometers and also extra x kilometers to catch the thief okay in order to catch the thief owner needs to travel 20 kilometers and also x kilometers so the total distance is 20 plus x by what is the speed of owner that is 50 km per hour okay in the same way what is the distance traveled by thief here only x kilometers okay what is the what is the speed of thief here 40 kilometers so we will get 10 5 50 and 10 4 40 if i cross multiply this i will get 4 into 20 that is 80 plus 4x equal to 5x if i send this 4x to the right hand side i will get 5x minus 4x that is x equal to 80 kilometers so this is the distance traveled by thief before caught by the owner now what is the time taken for thief to cover this distance that is distance is 80 kilometers now what is the speed of a thief here 40 km per hour 41s 42s so 2 hours is the total time taken for the thief to cover the distance of x kilometers now the total time taken by owner to catch the thief is 2 hours okay so this is the time equal in the both cases right so owner takes totally 2 hours to catch the thief so in this way we will solve the problems based on the chasing topic using this relative speed and also equating time method the only thing you need to remember in the equating time method is we only equate the timings whenever it is given one person is catching the other person if it is not given we don't equate the timings okay and that's it for this video try to solve more and more problems so that you can understand how to solve the problems faster and faster okay and for more tutorials like this please subscribe to the channel thank you